Okay, guys and girls. Solar Eclipse 2024. Y'all are probably going to be plumb sick of this solar eclipse thing by the time uh, it's all said and done. But tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and video what's happening here on Twin Eagle Ranch because only Chris and I and Apache are here to see it from Twin Eagle Ranch. So this will be a unique view. And uh, I'm sitting here putting it on the deck now. I may go down the dock. I don't know. It's going to get started here and probably... In Oklahoma City, they said get started in about 15 or 20 minutes. So right now, if we look up at the sun, uh, we're going to be able to uh, uh, to see that nothing's happened yet. But now we got a little bit of cloud cover. You can see the clouds in the background rolling around. If I point the camera up toward the sun, I don't know if I can get it pointed toward the sun or not there. I think that's it right there. I'm not positive. I've got it on a tripod. I'll take it off this tripod. But I've got it on a tripod there. But uh, here, here's what I've done. <coughs> here's what I've done. I don't have any solar glasses. And I know some of y'all saying, Jimmy, don't look, don't look, don't look. Well, I'm going to look because I have welding helmets. That's right. I have welding helmets. I have a welding helmet here that I borrowed from my buddy Aaron Wells, Steve's son, Aaron, over there. I borrowed that out of his shop. It's a welding helmet. I have another welding helmet, helmet that came out of my shop. This is a pretty one right here. I think I'm going to let Chris wear this one right here because this one's automatic. You can put this welding hel helmet on and pull it down and it blocks out blocks everything out when i look at that when i look at the camera i'm looking at the camera and it blocked out inside when i turn and look up at the sun it blocks out so i'm looking at the sun right now and uh i will uh i'll just uh, let, me, let me let me grab this uh let me grab that uh well it's just blocked out totally from the sun let me grab this off of the tripod right here i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to look up well when i look through the camera now I am looking, when I look through the camera, this blocks out everything. So I've got it pointing right at the sun right now. If I move it away from the sun, I can see the sun, but I don't know if you can see it through the camera or not. I'll move it up there. I'm going to look at this video here before this gets too crazy and see what's happening because that is looking right at the sun through the welding helmet. And I don't know if I'm looking at the sun or not. I can move down that way a little bit, and I can still see the sun through my welding helmet. I cannot see it through the camera lens. So, I'm going to pull that thing off. Pull this down. If I look up... <laughs> well, no wonder I can't see it. I'm pointing at myself. <laughs> well, I've noticed that since I'm not... Uh, well, I hadn't noticed. I, I, I knew it without any problem that uh, the... Um, the camera is just not showing the, the, the shadow on the, on the sun, that's all. And uh, when I look up at that, I'm looking at it right now, I see that we're about 50% covered, about 50% right now, and it's, it's uh, 115 here in Oklahoma, so we're probably about 30 or, now well, probably 15 to 30 minutes away from total totality. It is cooling off out here. I'll uh, turn this camera around and let you take a look at the lake, and you can see that it is getting a little bit darker, but we still have a beautiful situation here. I'm looking up at that sun through my welding helmet right now. It is very definitely 50%. I'm going to try to get Chris up. I tried to get her up a few minutes ago. She did her physical therapy. Walked really good this morning uh, with the physical therapist. She still can't keep her balance. The wind is coming up here, but uh, it's really it's really cooling off quite a bit. We're taking 50% of that sun away. It just shows you how important the sun is and how precise God is to have that sun at exactly the right distance to keep it beautiful here in southern Oklahoma. Doesn't he love us? Doesn't he love us? But uh, anyway, we'll look around out here on the lake. Turn the camera lens around there, and you can see that it is a little bit darker. You see there still is shadows. Uh, see the uh, shade underneath the trees and the shade here on the deck. And uh, we look up at the sun. Uh, they say that this could ruin your camera lens as well, so it's kind of a bad deal there. I probably shouldn't be doing that. But as I get up there at the sun, I'm going to bring it up there. You're probably not going to be able to see anything. Right there, we should have it right in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna leave it there for just a few seconds. It probably can't tell a thing. I'm gonna bring it back down and uh, get it off of that. It looks like it changed focus while it was up there, but now it's focused back in again. It has definitely dropped a few degrees out here. I'll go in and check and see what we dropped and we'll see what we drop under total totality, which is not too far off. We'll see if I can get my beautiful Chris out of bed. Okay, I got my beautiful Chris out here. Can you see it, honey? Look up till you see the sun. Look up till you see the sun. See it? You can look at it 15 or 20 seconds, doesn't hurt a thing through that welding helmet. You look like a professional welder there, girl. Huh? 
You see it? How 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 much is covered? You think? Half of it. Every bit of half of it. Are you looking at it? All right. You don't look like you're looking up very much. Can you see it good? Huh? You can't. Okay. As long as you can see it. Are you sure you're seeing it? Look up in the sky. Of course, I got your helmet. You seeing it there? Find it. Okay. Now I don't think you were looking at it a minute ago. You seeing it covered now? Okay. Are you tell me the truth. All right. Because I don't think you were seeing it a minute ago when you were telling me you were seeing it. But you think you're seeing it now? Yeah. All right. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I'm gonna look through my glasses too. What do you think, baby? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Don't look at it too long, and then you need to look away or look down. You still looking at it? No. I need to look down every now and then. Look away, baby. Chris. I'm there. You're looking right at it. Look down. There you go. You can look back up in a minute. Uh, let your eyes rest a minute. You're not. You can't see it now, can you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look back up at it again. See it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Why don't you look away now? All right. Just wait a little bit. Let's see how it goes. It is uh, 125 here in Oklahoma. Okay, guys and girls. Uh, we are probably about 80%. I just got a note from one of my buddies, Bill Carey, down at Lake Texoma, which is only about 50 miles from here. So they're getting about the same view that we're getting. You can see it's a little bit darker here at the Eagle, but you can still see shadows uh, and shade coming from the trees. So... It's still not very dark, but it is darkening up. It's like kind of late in the evening. What an incredibly beautiful day. Uh, Jimmy ought to be out there fishing is exactly what Jimmy should be doing. Uh, again, if you look up at the sun, can't really tell much difference to it. I'm just going to come up and then down real quick because I don't want to ruin this phone. Still got to use it for a couple months. You see it gets out of focus when you point at that as well. So it's 1.30 here. So uh, 1.30 Central Time. At Twin Eagle Ranch, I got my beautiful Chris out here looking. You looked at it lately, Chris? Take a look up there at it. What do you think, honey? About 80, 85 percent it's covered? Mm -hmm. I think so too, Angel. People wondering about how it affects uh, animals. Well, there's Sherry's dog, Bella. Jack and Sherry are in uh, Cabo right now. And so you can tell that it's really got them excited and Benelli's laying over there and she is super excited and I think they're both still alive. It's hard to tell, isn't it, Chris? <laughs> so it is not affecting the dogs at all. Maybe they think it's evening time, time to take a nap. I don't know, but I was going to take a look at the deer once we get to total totality. I might look at the deer, but I don't think it's going to get very dark. We'll see. It is 1.40 now, 1.40 Central Time. You notice that uh, our lights uh, come on at the dock. Uh, the ones on this side and that side, the right side and left side. The ones down on the end that go wrap around the end of that dock, um, they don't come on until 6 o'clock in the evening. So uh, they're not on. But it got dusky enough to turn those lights on right there. And we also have a light there in the yard. That has not come on yet. That also has a, 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 a light sensor on it, and it will turn on automatically. That has not come on, but the lights on the dock certainly have. And you can tell it's definitely dark. It's more difficult to tell. you. There still is shade uh, and uh, shadows coming off of the trees. Shade, you can see that. It's definitely got quite a bit cooler here in the last little bit. You looked at it lately, honey? How close is it? It's getting close, isn't it? I'd say it's 90%, wouldn't you? 90% yeah. at 140 Central Daylight Time. Okay, it's 145. 145, they have total darkness in Dallas. I've been looking in the house at the tele television while I've been watching this. And uh, you can see here that it's, it's hazy. It has dropped uh, five degrees. It's dropped from 80 degrees down to 75. That would normally be getting warmer. So that's happening. As I look down at the lake, I see some activity on top of the water. The lights are still on on the on the pier. Now, I don't know if it's getting darker right now, or I don't know if it's uh, if it, it's starting to lighten up. I can't really tell. It looks like it hasn't changed much in the last few minutes. I'm going to continue to look at it. Uh, if it starts getting brighter, I'm going to walk out to the deer pen a little bit. Dallas is dark. I mean, it's dark. There are people that look like at Cowboy Stadium maybe and maybe some of the other stadiums down there. You know, isn't it amazing? Something like this has brought all the people in the United States together. Isn't that great? Uh, and the 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 uh, the, the uh, uh, 
people that study this kind of thing, the weather people and the astrologers and all of that that study this, can predict so precisely when this is going to happen. It's amazing. I remember back in the book of Genesis uh, that uh, God said that the people are, are getting too smart. There's nothing they will not be able to do. And uh, he, uh, he said, we'll need to scatter them out around the world and confuse their language. And uh, they call that Babel. They created a town there and a tower called the Tower of Babel when people began to speak different languages so they couldn't communicate with each other. And even though that has happened a long time ago, uh, man has got to where it is today. So God created a remarkable individual. Uh, one place in the Bible said we are wondrously made. We certainly are. And for to be able to figure out that this is going to happen so much in advance, pretty cool. I'm going to take another look. 145 at the, at the rain. Okay, I didn't bring any carrots, but I walked out to the deer pens just to see. You can see that there's, it's getting fairly dark. It's pretty dark inside the house right now. But uh, see if there was any activity. And one thing I do notice as I walk up to the deer pens, all the deer are up. Not a single deer is laying down. The wildlife department here in Oklahoma was talking about the fact that it would have effect on the animals. And that's where deer's coming up here wanting some carrots. I have an effect on these animals. When I come up here, they start coming up here. You can look at uh, Prince Charming there. and I'll get in there and feed him before this week's videos. And uh, we'll take some look at that. His antlers are really growing. There's our, our pretty pretty female there. And the other little buck down there, Casper. He's got uh, his second horns coming. So you can see all the deer looking really, really good. And they were all up walking around. And as you said, that's exactly what would happen is the deer would walk around quite a bit more. We have uh, seven brown deer in here and three, three white ones. And uh, Prince Charming's looking good there with his big antlers. They're up here wanting something to eat is what they're wanting. My wild child's up here. She'd just soon have love in his carrots, but she really likes carrots. But you can see that they're looking really, really good, all of them. Now, a deer did lay down down there, but... Uh, they were all up walking around before I ever got over here. Of course, when I got here, they all come up here to, to see me. But uh, it looks, uh, they look really, really good. And uh, losing that winter coat and the sleek summer coat coming in. And uh, they're going to be just, just beautiful. Look really, really nice. So it's not really affected them too much, but they were up walking around right here in the middle of the day. So animals. Are they affected much by the eclipse? Not paying a whole lot of attention to it. But maybe they thought it was evening. Hard to fool a white-tailed deer. Doesn't matter what you do. And as we take a look around, uh, we see that uh, it did drop about four degrees, and uh, but it's not uh, not anything, uh, you know, that was about like any other eclipse that I've seen. The last one, I believe, if I remember right, was 2017. So for some reason, 2012 sticks in my mind, but I think it was 2017 probably wrong but that's all right i'm used to being wrong i've been wrong before but chris and i put our welding helmets on we got to experience this and that was really good we went out and looked at the deer and uh the deer were all walking around which is pretty good right here in the middle of the day 145 in the day one of them finally did lay down he might lay back down when it started getting back brighter again i don't know but uh not much happened out there while i was uh, walking around uh the deer all come up to me and uh my, uh, my iPhone changed over from video to slow-mo, and so that screws up the audio. And But we got some good video of the deer there. We might put some music or something that. I don't know what's going to happen. Pat might not even put this on the social media. I don't know. But it's an experience, and I know that there were millions of people all around this country and other countries as well uh, experiencing this and showing you uh, really good shots of that moon. So you see what we were looking at here. But uh, quite an experience. I got Chris up out of taking her nap, and uh, I'm going to go over here and... Uh, visit with her real quickly honey what do you think was that worth getting up for you don't know are you ready are you ready to go back and take another nap you think so all right baby all right guys and girls that'll about do it for the eclipse 2024 we just had to share it with you a little bit uh, just chris and i and apache here on the ranch right now uh our, our neighbors the wells uh, were here this weekend and had a great time and uh the weather's great the fishing's great remember guys and girls Eclipse or no eclipse, I sure do love you. <laughs>